going to face a buzzsaw that will get them back in the place that a lot of Democrats were in after the Obamacare vote, which is losing their seats. I want to bring in somebody who's in uh, a, a, a bit of a swing dem dis district, a Democrat, Congressman Josh Gottheimer. Thank you so much for Good joining here, me. Now, you were not here during in Congress during the Obamacare vote, but you are in, uh, you know, a purple district, it's yes. fair to say, in New Jersey. Um, do you feel that your constituents are going to see this and say, you know what, I really wish that you, even though you're a Democrat, voted to repeal Obamacare because there's so many problems with it. How are you going to go home and face your constituents? It's been very consistent for the last month since we've been talking about this and the phones are ringing off the hook in the office today. People don't want this right? because they don't like the way it's done and it's really going to hurt my district. It's been, the numbers have come out. It's $4,000 new tax on families of people in New Jersey. Seniors are particularly worried because they throw them out of the nursing homes. There's a new senior tax. So the incoming I'm getting from everybody when I talked to folks in the diner last weekend, it was pretty clear. Please stop this. Fix Obamacare. Fix the ACA, which I really want to do. There's plenty to fix. But do it in a bipartisan way and don't just let them jam something down us that's going to hurt us in New Jersey. Okay, but to be real here, yeah. there's no bipartisan way. I mean, could you see yourself working with Republicans to make some major changes to Obamacare for real? Because from my understanding yeah. is that the Democratic base would go ballistic if you tried to do that. I don't know. I talked this throughout my campaign. I said there are areas like the Cadillac tax and the medical device tax and areas where we need to fix it. I'm not talking about throwing it out. I'm talking about actually making it better. But that starts with an outreach. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know, as a Democrat, as somebody who's bipartisan, you can't just show up and say, here it is, now vote on it. You actually have to be part of the process. Okay. So knowing that that is not going to happen, it's not the world Maybe not on which this we live issue. right now on this issue. Yeah. Um, the Republicans are arguing over and over again. This, this whole Obamacare idea the way it is, isn't working, that you have states, even in the last 24 hours, like Iowa, where every insurance provider has pulled out of the state that is related to, to Obamacare. I mean, that's, that's a fair criticism. There are people out there who are insured but can't afford it. I'm focusing on my state because obviously that's where I represent in northern New Jersey. Right. And what I hear is pretty consistent from the hospitals. I just talked to the CEO of the largest employer and hospital in New Jersey in Hackensack. And the, everyone fears the same thing in New Jersey, right? This is very bad for us. The Medicaid dollars right, are going to shift a lot of costs over to the state, to us. And that means our tax dollars are going to go up locally. So that's how they're looking at it from how it affects us. I can't talk about the other states. You know, you obviously came in knowing that a potential to, you know, try to dismantle Obamacare was going to be on the table. Did you have any inclination at all? given where you're from and given the fact that it's not exactly the most liberal place in the world, right. even though you're a Democrat, to, to be more aggressive? Did you try to work with Republicans to fix it? I did. I, I actually, I, I co-chair something called the Problem Solvers Caucus, 20 Democrats, 20 Republicans. We, we sit down on things like tax reform and infrastructure, where we're actually finding some common ground. On this issue from the beginning, though, that we were never really brought into the circle, and I said to my colleagues on the other side, Please, like there are a bunch of us who actually want to fix this if you do it in the right way. So I'm hoping actually in the months ahead that there's a chance to make this better. You're right that it's probably not very realistic, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't keep trying. Congressman, thank you Good so to much. See you, Dan. you too. Take care. Back to you, Wolf and Jake. All right, Dana, thanks.